Recently, I was chatting with a friend of mine from America and he was talking about how he had some really wonderful barbecue ribs the night before. When I mentioned that I actually didn't eat ribs very often because they're not very common in Australia, he was a little bit shocked at that because he just couldn't believe that people didn't eat ribs all the time. So I decided to go out and have a go at ribs myself because frankly, aside from eating chicken ribs when I was a teenager, when I worked at a chicken shop back in the 90s, I've actually never eaten ribs. So I thought I wanted to have a bit of an experiment. So I went out and grabbed some and of course I had to do it with a one pot twist. So I made these beautiful slow cooker ribs on the one pot chef. First things first, we need to season our ribs. Now I've got just over a kilo, a little over two pounds of pork ribs, and we're gonna start by seasoning them with a bit of salt, little bit of pepper, and I'm adding some smoked paprika as well because this smoked paprika is beautiful. It adds this wonderful earthy, smoky, almost bacony flavor, which when you're cooking these in a slow cooker, will give them the flavor as if they've been cooked on a barbecue. It's really, really nice. Now, once you've got that all over the surface, just use your fingers and give it a little bit of rub, like that, just to make sure it's all nicely coated. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So flip them both over and give them a good spice and rubbing. Now I'm going for a mild ribs with this, but if you wanted to go for something a bit more hot, a bit more spicy, you could add other things to your spice rub. You could add some chili powder or some chili flakes. You could add a little bit of cayenne pepper, whatever you like. Now, these are all rubbed in looking good. So we're gonna set these aside while we prep our slow cooker. I'm making a honey, soy and garlic sauce for a uh, ribs to cook in. So first we're going to need some honey. I'm putting in one cup of honey, half a cup of soy sauce. I'm using some salt reduced or low sodium soy sauce because I don't want this to be overly salty, but I want that lovely soy flavor to it. And I'm also adding in some garlic. Now I'm not going to give you a specific measurement for the amount of garlic. Um, it's entirely up to you, your personal taste, how garlicky you like things. I'm going to be adding in about two to three cloves worth roughly. Now I'm using the stuff out of a jar because I like to cheat, but essentially if you're using fresh garlic and you're mincing it up or finely chopping it, then it would be about two to three cloves roughly, but you can always add more or less depending on your personal taste. And we're just going to quickly mix that together as best you can. That honey is nice and thick. Just give it a good mix together. Next, and we're going to do the messy bit, which is dredging our ribs in the sauce. So I'm gonna do these one at a time. We're just gonna add them in, give them a good turn, make sure they're nice and coated all over. And once they're all nice and saucy, we need to put them in the correct way. So we need to put them meat side out onto the edge of the cooker making sure the bones are facing in. And so the meatier side needs to go on the outside so it cooks better. And then that way it will cook nice and even. And we're just gonna do the same thing with the other one here. Just give it a good dredging, make sure it's all completely coated. And again, you've got the bones up and facing inwards, meaty side down against the outside of the pot. Perfect, that looks good. Ugh, I'm covered in goo. <laughs> and that's basically it. All we need to do is pop the lid on and we're gonna switch on our slow cooker. You can cook this for four hours on high or about six to eight hours on low. I recommend using the low setting because you get really, really nice, tender, juicy meat when you do it on the low setting, but the high setting is perfectly acceptable if you're on a bit of a time limit. So. We're gonna pop this on and we're gonna let these cook away. 
While our ribs are cooking in the slow cooker, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Right, and they finished cooking. I'm just going to take the lid off and oh, look at those. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Now, you're probably wondering what this is. It's a little ceramic dish, a ramekin, and I put it in there because the ribs kept falling over. I wanted them to stand up as they cook. But you could also use a coffee mug or something similar like that, something heat proof. But now that they are cooked, all we need to do is take our ribs out and slice them up. And just using a sharp knife, we're just going to separate the ribs, just cutting between the bones. And look at that, beautiful. Now these ribs are ready to eat straight away, or you can pop them back into the slow cooker and stir them around in the cooking juices, put the lid on and leave it on low or keep warm for a good two or three hours to keep them warm until you're ready to eat. And here we have our completed slow cooker pork ribs looking absolutely amazing. That beautiful honey soy and garlic sauce has infused the meat with so much flavour. Once I separated the ribs, I just put them back into the pot, gave them a bit of a stir around, give the sauce all over that and put them onto a plate and they are just absolutely sensational, juicy and tender and literally the meat is falling off the bone. You are going to love this. How amazing do these look? Honestly, they are so juicy. Right, I'm just gonna dive on in and have a taste. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God, they're so good. Mmm. <laughs> The meat is literally falling off the bone. It's sticky and got a delicious sauce that's absorbed right into the meat. The meat is full of flavor. It's moist. It's not dried out or anything like that. It's absolutely sensational. These are so good. Plus, you can do these with pretty much any sauce you like. Today, I did honey, soy, and garlic but you can skip that entirely. You could just use your favorite barbecue sauce. You could use sriracha. You could use a hot chili sauce, whatever you like. You can just pop that into the slow cooker instead and you will have beautiful ribs every single time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. Hello strangers, I know it's been ages since I last posted a video on YouTube and I'm very sorry about that, but as a lot of you know, I've had a lot of issues recently with uh, medical problems and things like that. I've recently gone over to a new round of treatments which have left me very, very tired and left me with a lot of joint pain and things like that. The fun of autoimmune issues. So yeah, I've just been taking a bit of time out to relax and just try not to overdo things until I get used to this whole new treatment regime, which I'm doing pretty well. I only have to do it once every eight weeks now, so that's really good progress. All in all, I'm just happy to be sort of up about and getting into the kitchen when I feel like it. So I'll be making videos as and when I feel up to it. So I won't be doing any set schedules for the time being. But in the meantime, feel free to explore the channel. There's something like 700 videos to check out. So you're guaranteed to find something you are going to enjoy. Well, lots of love to you all. Thank you for all the well wishes and I'll see you next time. <laughs>